Lord, we ask for your gifts of the Spirit to be released. Let spiritual gifts begin to manifest in your body once again. Let it be widespread like never before. Your word says in 1 Corinthians 12, 1, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be ignorant. Lord, we don't want to be ignorant. We don't want to be uninformed. But oh, may we know about the gifts of the Spirit. May we know that you've given us these gifts so that we can minister to one another and to the outsider. You've given us these spiritual graces so that we're not ill-equipped. And Lord, your word says in 1 Corinthians 14 and 1, to pursue love and strive for the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. Well, Lord, we ask for these gifts of the Spirit to be released, especially prophecy, because your word says that that is a great gift. For 1 Corinthians 12 and 31 says, strive for the greater gifts. But we ask for a release of all of the gifts of the Spirit, Lord. 1 Corinthians 14, 39 through 40, it says, So, brethren, be eager to prophesy, and do not forbid speaking in tongues. But all things should be done decently and in order. Oh, as we operate in your spiritual gifts, let us do it according to your will, according to the order that you have established. So right now we ask for the word of knowledge to be released, supernatural knowledge of things from the past and things in the present, secrets of people's hearts, Lord, the things you did and demonstrated. For you spoke at, to the woman at the well and you said, call your husband. And she says, I have no husband. And through a word of knowledge, you said, that's true. For you've had five husbands, and the one that you're now with is not your own. Lord, let us operate and know these secrets. When you saw Nathaniel, you said, I saw you, Nathaniel. You were under the tree. And oh, a revelation came to Nathaniel because he knew that you knew something that you would have had no way of knowing, but through the word of knowledge, you knew something supernatural, something specific from his past. Let this gift be released. Release it wide in the body of Christ. May we know the very secrets of people's hearts, so that as it is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, that when the secrets of an unbeliever's heart are disclosed, they will fall down on their face and worship you, God, and say that God is really among you. We thank you, Lord. Let the word of wisdom be in operation, too. That we have supernatural insight of wisdom, how to apply something in a given situation. Let this wisdom be like the wisdom of Solomon. In situations that arise, may we know how to fix the situation by supernatural divine knowledge, wisdom, understanding. And we ask for that to be released upon us. Release into the body of Christ. Release it. Release it in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for discerning of spirits. May we be able to know what we're up against. May we discern the spirits. May we have supernatural insight into spirits that may be attacking us or our friends or our family or our brothers and sisters in the Lord. May we be able to call them out by name, identifying those spirits and telling them they must leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Release it, Lord. Let diverse tongues be released into the body, into the church. May we give supernatural utterances that are to be interpreted, which leads me to the next gift. Lord, let interpretation of tongues
tongues be released. May we be able to interpret messages that you give to us in supernatural tongues. May we be able to interpret them in our native tongue so that we hear what thus saith the Lord. And with this thus saith the Lord, let prophecy and the prophesying giftedness come upon us. May we prophesy declaring what thus saith the Lord. For the prophetic strand went through the entirety of scripture and the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy as it is written in the book of Revelation. Now let the power gifts be released as well, the gift of faith, God's faith in man. Let that gift be released widespread so that we don't operate according to our own faith, but according to the faith of God, that we can believe you for the impossible, that nothing becomes an impossibility any longer. But with that gift of faith, we believe that even the impossible is something we can laugh at because with God all things are possible. And release the gift of the working of miracles so that we can perform the signs and wonders even as you did. For it's not by our own strength, our own power, but by the Spirit of God. Work miracles, bring deliverance and healing and supernatural phenomena. For your word is filled with accounts of the supernatural at work and the working of miracles. And we ask you to release gifts of healing as well. Heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our emotions, heal us, Lord. Let gifts of healing be released. May that supernatural phenomenon come for as it is written, with your stripes we are healed. May we operate in these spiritual gifts, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. And even let the offices, the office gifts be released, Lord. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. Let people step into their calling and walk worthy of the vocation wherewith they are called. Let them walk in it. Stepping into the authority that you have ordained them to have. May they not be timid nor shy, but let apostles rise, let prophets rise, let evangelists rise, pastors and teachers rise in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, your word says in Romans 12, 6 through 8, that we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the exhorter in exhortation, the giver in generosity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in cheerfulness. All these work together, Lord, and we receive them in the name of Jesus Christ. May we begin to identify the giftedness that you have called us into. May we walk in the power of our giftedness knowing that it's not our own well-doing that has caused the gifts to come. For as it is written, the gifts and the calling of God are irrevocable. But may we walk in purity with the gifts that you've given to us and step and fill the shoes of those that have gone in times past that operated in these gifts. May we fill their shoes and operate in your giftedness like never before. Release this now in the name of Jesus Christ. You said if we ask anything in your name, you'd do it. You said if two or three agree on earth as touching any one thing, it shall be done. Well, I stand in agreement with my brothers and sisters that we'll be listening to this. And we agree for these gifts to be released upon the body of Christ like never before. Let a new wave of spiritual giftedness dawn. In a time of great technological advances, let there be spiritual advances that far outshine and outweigh those of the technical world. Oh, let your giftedness come, Lord. We thank you that you hear our prayer. And we say in Jesus' name, Amen.